Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are out here with the Multi-Joy Spaniel Fat Tire E-Bike, gonna do our 100 mile review. It's more like 138 we have on it, but we missed that a little bit. Uh, we were taking it out for a spin. Um, we wanna tell you the pros and cons after being 100 miles in, what we liked and didn't like. Uh, it's, there's not much we didn't like. I mean, I find myself riding this one more than some of my other ones. Uh, besides the, I mean, it's got a great look all around. Uh, let's give you some of the pros first. Pros is I like that I can do full speed with just spin of the throttle. A lot of them you can only do a, a max speed of like 20 or something. This one will go further than that on full speed so I don't have to pedal at all. I like that feature. Uh, also, this flashing red light in the rear, that you want it, you don't notice it as the, the, the rider, but everybody behind you can see that and they can stop behind you uh, if you're in the road or something trying to drive. Somebody can uh, see that light, makes you more visible. Always good to have. Uh, also, this has awesome torque compared to like some of the other ones, of course, not without saying any names. You give it torque, it, it picks up and goes. So you might not want to try to drive this one, give it torque with one hand, you're going to be on the ground <laughs> for, for sure. And then, like I said, just the all around good looks of this thing. Uh, this one is this one is the regular the regular height one. So it is, it's pretty high. You got to swing your leg quite high to get over it, but they do have a step through model I mean, to make that a little easier for you. And like I said, I love the big tires. It just has a, a great look. Uh, and I'll give you a couple of the things we didn't like about it. Of course, like with most of the bikes that you see today that come, they don't come with rear suspension. So not having the suspension is not great. So on all our bikes, we put the suspension seat post. Sorry for the traffic noise, if you guys can hear that. There's a lot of traffic today. We put the suspension seat post. So not having that, I think it should come with that. Uh, I noticed that some of the other bikes are including that with the bike, the suspension seat post. That's good. They're listening to the riders. Uh, another thing that we didn't like about it is uh, the tires. I mean, we like the tires, but they seem to be thin because just going through, like if you do a piece of rough patch of dirt and there's, there's some grass in there, we have those sand spurs here. Just those alone will be able to pierce this tire and, and uh, puncture the tube. We've had that twice now on this bike. And we have the other bikes that go with us, the same exact path. They're not getting the flat tire. So I don't know if the tires are a little thinner, but maybe a tire liner would be nice for these just to counteract that. But make sure you carry the stuff to fix your flats, all that stuff. And of course, the, another thing that was terrible was that bottle holder location was right here. We took ours off because it was kind of dangerous. Because you're sitting here and if you slide forward at all, you, man, are you hitting that? Especially being a guy or a girl, I guess, but that hits hard. So we remove that, put a nice uh, phone holder here. Uh, we got a few accessories on here, but pretty much that was what we didn't like about the bike. Um, everything else is good. The pedals had good grip. The brakes stopped because they are the bigger brakes. Um, no, what else? Uh, the straps on the back. I wish the straps were, I mean, this could go here, but I wish there was one back here as well. That would be nice. Other than that, pretty nice, uh, good size brakes. The front suspension has good travel. Um, they, they tell us as a mountain, like an off-road mountain bike, uh, but it's not, I don't know, I wanna go, I mean, you could take it off-road, but I wanna go that far, especially without the rear suspension. Oh, one other thing, this, this display, being a beautiful color display, it's great at night. During the day, you can barely see that thing. It needs to be a brighter display for, for the daytime riding, because. You can't see it, especially if the sun's out, you're not seeing what's on that thing at all. So other than that, uh, it's a beautiful bike. Can't complain, 100 miles in, 138 miles in on this one, and not, not a problem. Just the, the front tire had the flat a couple times. We patched it and we were on our way. Uh, like I said, the couple accessories we put on it, we did put the phone holder here in the front, which also has space for other stuff inside. Uh, we put the mirror on here. I love this mirror, it's tight, it folds folds right in out of the way if you're storing it, which is nice. Um, what else, the suspension seat post, we put that on. And also we put the bigger saddle on this one. It's just more comfortable for the longer rides. Uh, that's pretty much what we did to this one. But let's see if I can turn around and show you that light. Can you guys see that light flashing? I got the brake on, it's probably hard to see in the daytime, but that is nice to have. All right, guys, if you guys are interested in one of these bikes, 
Uh, they got a sale going on right now. Just click the link down below. Use the code MTB200. You save you $200 off this bike. Um, if you haven't seen the video we did on this bike, it tells you a little more about the battery, uh, the torque on the motor. It gives you all the specs that are important when you're looking for a bike. Uh, the cool thing about this bike, it does have a two-year warranty on the battery and the frame. So if you're uh, worried about that, name band, it's a name brand battery, name brand battery that has a two-year warranty that they put on it. That's pretty good. You don't want one of them cheap ones that catch on fire all the time. And then, like I said, two years on the frame as well. Uh, they also offer the free shipping. And they also have a 15-day, no questions asked. If you don't like it, send it back. You can exchange it, whatever. But uh, that's a pretty good deal on this bike. And the price point for what this bike offers is, is right on par where it should be. Again, if you guys are interested, don't forget to click that link down below and use that code to save you guys some money off of that. And while you're down here, please click that subscribe button. Help support the channel. Appreciate your guys' help. Um, thanks to you, we got that super thanks button. If you're feeling, feeling gracious, click that too. Hit that bell notification so you know when we post a video because you never know what we're going to post. Our channel is a little bit of everything. We post all kinds of stuff, multiple e-bike videos, everything. So don't forget, give it a thumbs up also. All that stuff they like you to press down there. That'd be helpful. And until um, next time, guys, thanks for watching. Try something new.